All of your previous flying skills are sufficient to operate the aircraft. This is our first golden rule. We will start with an engine failure on takeoff, demonstrating two golden rules. So let's get started. Airbus A320, ready for departure. Airbus A320, Geneva Tower, you are cleared for takeoff runway 23, wind is 270 degrees, 10 knots. 100 knots. Check. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. Engine failure. Andy, uh, insert the hold at pass array to comply with the engine out sit, please. Okay. And I have communications. Okay. Geneva, pan, pan, pan. Airbus A320, we have an engine failure. We're proceeding on the engine out sit to pass array. Airbus A320, Geneva Tower, Roger. Hold that pass array as published. Maintain 4,000 feet. In any aircraft, as you have just seen, we can have problems in flight. You saw that the first priority was to fly the aircraft. In Airbus aircraft, the ECAM will provide you with all information needed to cope with problems. Let's return now to our situation and see another golden rule in action. ECAM action. Engine number two fail. Engine mode selector ignition. Thrust lever number two idle. Confirm? Confirm. Geneva Airbus A320 in the hold at pass array at 4,000. If no engine relight, there is no relight. Engine master two off. Confirm number two? Confirm. Here, the captain's task is to fly the aircraft and handle communications. Engine the first officer's down, task is to deal with the abnormal on. situation. Each crew member has his Air own bleed. responsibility while keeping Both the other operate. in the loop. Clear bleed? Clear. Electric page, generator two, shut down. Generator one, supplying all systems. A little later, Everything is back to normal, and we are again on our flight plan. Andy, you have control. I have control. We talk to the aircraft through the flight control unit. The aircraft talks to us through the flight mode enunciator. It's very important that we check and understand the flight mode enunciator. These indications confirm that the aircraft will follow our instructions. Let me show you. Geneva Control, Airbus A320, maintaining 260, requesting flight level 310. Airbus A320, Geneva Control, roger. Climb and maintain flight level 310. 
Climb and maintain 310, Airbus A320. I will select the new altitude on the flight control unit. and push. The flight mode enunciator changes from altitude to climb and the aircraft begins to climb. We are navigating automatically towards Bellis intersection. I will turn slightly right of course. Notice the flight mode enunciator changes from nav to heading. Now I will go direct to Bellis and the flight management system resumes automatic navigation. You can see that the FMA confirms your inputs. So it is imperative that you know it's every change. Airbus A320, you are cleared to flight level 350. Cleared to flight level 350, Airbus A320. Mandy, you have control. The aircraft is navigated using the flight management system. Occasionally it is necessary to cross-check its accuracy. In this example, we will use Mike Tango Lima VOR, which bears 203 degrees at 56 nautical miles. By inserting Mike Tango Lima into the flight management system, a comparison is made between the position as determined by the raw data and the position as determined by the flight management system. The computed bearing and distance is the same. 203 degrees, 56 miles. The accuracy is verified. With the introduction of primary GPS, this process will be simplified. When we arrive in the Toulouse area, things go a little differently than expected. Let's see what happens, how it's handled, and what golden rules come into action. Airbus A320, Toulouse approach. ILS 15 right out of service. Maintain present heading. Expect ILS 15 left. Maintain present heading, expect runway 15 left ILS, Airbus A320. I'm visual on the aircraft ahead. Andy, would you change the runway in the flight management system, please? Okay. Runway change completed, Mike. Andy, you have control. I'll cross-check. I have control. Uh, visual on the aircraft ahead. Airbus A320 cleared for ILS approach 15 left. Cleared for the approach, Airbus A320. We have been cleared for the approach. As you can see, the aircraft is flying through the localizer. Obviously, something is not right. If the aircraft does not do what you expect, don't hesitate to take over. Don't waste time asking why. Save that for later. Make the aircraft respond. In this case, Andy selected heading and turned the aircraft to re-intercept the localizer. In order to demonstrate this golden rule, we intentionally did not arm the approach for capture. While in this case it was deliberate, a similar situation may arise during training or even on the line. 
Remember, you are the pilot. Take over. Fly the aircraft. We are flying in instrument conditions with the aircraft tracking the ILS automatically. At 2,000 feet, we become visual with the runway. Andy will disengage the autopilot in order to fly manually. But he will leave the flight directors on to make manual flight easier. Airbus A320 requesting sidestep runway 15 right. Airbus 20 Tulu Tower, clear to land 15 right. Clear to land 15 right, Airbus A320. To sidestep onto another runway, we will disengage the flight directors and fly manually. As you can see, during this approach, the automation level has changed according to the circumstances. 